Hello and welcome to New Leaf Plants with me, Andy Jeans. Today I'm going to show you how to plant some clematis with other plants as a companion um, so that they can grow up together. Um, what I've done is I've built a rustic sort of wooden box as a planter and I've made a trellis to go up the wall. Um, just made this out of some scrap wood that I got around just to give it some structure and some support as it grows up. This is quite rigid on the wall. Um, and the plant I've chosen to do today with clematis is a David Austin rose. Uh, the variety I've chosen is a variety called Pilgrim. Uh, it's a really nice repeat flowering, very fragrant, nice full yellow centre with a cream outside. And I've gone for some contrasting pinks of Clematis Elena and Clematis Bourbon should go really nicely with that, uh, that yellow flower on there. The aspect I've got is a southwest facing wall so I get afternoon maybe midday onwards sun so of an evening I'm hoping that this rose will actually produce lots and lots of fragrance when we're sat on the patio area um, with these two varieties growing up through them it should look really really nice. So I've had all three soaking in the bucket just to get the root balls really really wet before planting which is imperative whenever you're planting a plant give it a good soak in a, in a bucket of water for about 10 minutes just so the water gets absorbed into the root ball. So what I'll do is I'm going to start off planting the rose. Well, someone said to me what's the best way to plant a rose and I would say very carefully for obvious reasons. So this has had a good soaking so I'm just going to turn it upside down bit of a push. Oh, it's coming. I'm just popping down into there for now. Come back to there. Now every plant has a, a front and a back when you actually look at its growing. So as we're going onto a flat wall, I'm going to rotate this round to get the best of the plant up against the structure we're going up so about there I think will be best and then I can actually tie these back in to give it some structure and for it some framework to start to build so I think that's good for that one so do the same clematis popping out we just place these for now in here. And these are slightly deeper than the rose is going to be, which is good because you always plant clematis a lot deeper. Um, that just protects the crown. Um, if you have any problems with the clematis and it, uh, you need to cut it back, you'll have those, uh, that crown right under the soil, which is protected, and it will reshoot from there again. But hopefully, no problems. Just pop this one out. easier to sometimes get them out of the pot with the cane in but um, we'll just take these toys off now okay use those canes do the same with the other one Now the compost mixture I've got is a mixture of peat and loam, about two parts peat, one part loam, and I've actually added in some perlite and a little bit of osmocote, the slow release fertiliser. Uh, it'd be a good mix for this pot, so what I'm going to do is just fill up round those root balls now. As you go, just firm it down and around. Giving the plant a little bit of 
lean back as well. I'll just do the other two. I'm nearly at the top now. I'm not going to completely fill the pot because I need to leave a little bit of a, a gap at the top for when you water and you can actually flood it and then it then seep through. If you have it level, it will just overflow the water at the top and then all the compost will come out over the edges and make it look a little bit untidy. So I'm just going to level this out. nice and firm in there so they're not going to go anywhere. Right what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some gardener's twine. You can use, um, you can get some sort of rubber coated wires and things like that but I quite like using the old the old twine. So what I'm actually going to do is I tie him out at a bit of a an angle to fan it out. And just tie him on there. Not too tight, just enough just to keep it there. And that main one, I think, because it's got the longest shoot, we'll, we'll tie him back onto there. There we go. So that's going to go up the centre. This one and that is going to go up there, and then that one's going to go up there. And all we do now is we just put the clematis and unravel these. And we'll just put these up over the outside like so. So I've tied it all in now and I've got the rows out in a nice structure and what I've actually used because there's a gap between, behind these bars is you can actually use it to hold the actual climber as it goes up. What I've got here though is I've got this stem here that to be honest is not going to go anywhere near where I want it to be so I'm just going to take that off down to a, a joint and just chop him off and then that will just put more energy into the plant to grow away. So all there is to do now is give it a good water, give it a feed when it uh, when it really starts to get growing, and uh, hopefully it'll bring us some really good results. <laughs>